So our uh, day two of attempting to make this thing work out. Um, it's been about two years since I got my Dazzle, and it's been a bit of a dick actually trying to get the damn thing to work. So um, I've been doing a bit of Mario Sunshine, doing a whole number of test recordings for it, uh, each of them with the intention of hopefully getting it to work out well enough so that I can upload it to YouTube and um, see how it works out there. I might actually upload this as private and then... Uh, once I like it, uh, once I have a look at it and like it, I'll make it public and whatnot so people can watch it. Um, this isn't going to be particularly interesting. I'm just doing a bit of a thing on Mario Sunshine. Just decided to grab a random level and decided to do that just as a means to hopefully test if I'm capable of recording both this and my voice uh, at the same time without the uh, game falling out of horrible sync. So far, it's been a minute in, and I've dropped uh, five frames, which compared to other attempts, I've dropped well over 2,000 frames within about five minutes, which kind of sucked. But um, hey, what can you, what do you expect? Uh, so, what I've got going here is uh, my initial plan was to uh, record the uh, video and the game audio with. Uh, Pinnacle Studio, which is the same as what I'm doing now. I initially plan on using Audacity, but Audacity seems to make this recording lag up a massive shitstorm. Like, I'm looking at the recording window, and it's still lagging up a shitstorm. The the thing is, that's not such a big issue for me, because when I actually go back and um, when I play it back, uh, there's literally no lag in the actual recording at all, so it's not that big a deal at that stage. It actually comes out pretty looking pretty good. Um, the thing is, though, uh, there are certain bits where I completely, where it completely just shits itself, like it um, slows down, lags up a shitstorm, and then falls out of, and then the game falls out of sync with the game audio, which is a bit of a deck like that. But um, I'm trying to basically eliminate that, and if I can do that, then I can get rid of the, um, I can actually start recording LPs on this. Uh, if I can't, then shit's gonna go south, I guess. Because I've had this for two years, this Dazzle for two years, and I have not done a single thing with it, and I really, really want to actually be able to record some LPs. Uh, I planned, once I'd, I actually have succeeded in this, I've, I planned on doing um, Luigi's Mansion. I was doing a Hidden Mansion playthrough of um, that game, uh, because uh, since I'm in a PAL country, I can actually um, do the Hidden Mansion, and it'll actually be different. Because the I believe the only differences between the uh, regular mansion and the hidden mansion for the Japanese and American versions is uh, just a slight increase in difficulty. I believe all the enemies do uh, twice as much damage as they normally do. This has that, but it also has um, the mansion itself is mirrored. So basically everything, but basically you have to um, sort of get used to the whole. You got to go the other direction to uh, to um, succeed. So. Uh, you got to do that, plus um, all of the weird uh, blue ghosts that give you money when you suck them up. That And those in the uh, little golden rats that you suck up, they all give you a whole bunch of money. Uh, in the Hidden Mansion, in the Power version, uh, that's been switched over so that it's... Um, they give you... They all give you a certain kind of gem. I think it's like a diamond or something. And basically it increases the amount of money that you can get at the end of the game. There's an actu there is actually a um, maximum amount that you can get in a game. And in the regular mansion playthrough, that's about 140 odd million, which actually um, sucks if you're playing the PAL version because the PAL version actually increased the um, requirement to get the rank A mansion uh, from 100 to 150 million. So on your first playthrough of the game, it is actually completely impossible to get the rank A mansion. You have to be able to do the um, hidden mansion playthrough because the increase in money will give you um, a maximum of around about 170 to 180 million. Um, so you're able to um, get the rank A mansion if you do the hidden mansion playthrough. But of course, it is considerably harder and whatnot because um, bosses themselves as well. They also are dicks in the in the game. They do are. Uh, lot more unpredictable shit. Um, all I know is the um, first boss, the baby ghost, um, kind of screws around with it with his um, with his uh, rocky horses sort of thing. If you've played the game, you'll know what I'm talking about, the rocking horses. Um, 
they usually go in a straight line, I think, for the um, upgraded boss fight. They go, like, all zigzag and everything, and it's harder to avoid them and everything, so... Um, from what I from what I've seen so far of Hidden Mansion, it's a considerably more difficult challenge, and it might it, and since our uh, mo and since uh, I, I I'm not too sure if anybody's even tried a Hidden Mansion run on the PAL version because it's generally obscure. Most people who play games usually play North American versions and stuff like that, so it's the Hidden Mansion. Anybody who did a Hidden Mansion run on the North American version would only really want to. Uh, do that for the purpose of uh, just increased difficulty, taking more damage than you would want to. Um, whereas in this one, it's clearly a lot different. So, uh, in my explanation, I've gone and done the uh, thing, which makes it clear to me that uh, I can play this game without actually uh, sucking, which not too bad. Uh, problem is, I have very, I have difficulty controlling the uh, turbo nozzle, because I do actually kind of suck at this game. To be perfectly honest, I have trouble controlling the turbo nozzle and whatnot. So, I will probably uh, fail this many, many times. I don't even need to put this into the test recording since I've already done what I needed to do for it. But I was going on too much of a tangent about the Luigi's Mansion playthrough. And so I figured I might as well just throw this one in so I can finish up my thoughts. So, yeah, just miss the shine, why don't we? <laughs> so hilarious. But anyway, yeah, I, I, I think I think that's pretty much it. I mean, you saw me do it. I, this is 120 f shine file, so I've already beaten the whole game. So, uh, yeah, I think that's about it. I think... I've pretty much explained what I needed to do about the uh, Luigi's Mansion playthrough once I get around to doing that, and uh, hopefully my uh, the tangent that I've gone on for the last seven minutes is not going to be completely and utterly wasted. I only see 174 dropped frames after seven minutes here, so that should lead to good signs, I guess. So um, until such time as I achieve success, I will bid the adieu.